Yeah. Because remember, Vivi beat. Right, other side of winner semis. Vi- I mean, yeah, Vivi do Vi- this. Vivi beat Frozen, in, uh, yep, and yep, King yep, Arc yep. beat Adi. So, in what was a crazy set, and we're once again seeing a Pokemon character versus Mega Man. You know the funny thing, actually? I'm pretty sure that both of these players, when offline first came back, they were kind of struggling. I seem to remember that Vivi did not do Ooh. so great at the first event that he went to, and King Arc, last week at Xeno, kind of bustered out. So, the fact that after only two weeks, they're already back up to their you know, previous yeah. form is really impressive. Yeah, they're the, both here in Winter Semis. And we've known the, the quality of these two players, obviously both of them having been PR'd before in New York City. Um, both of these players were just bound to kind of have that comeback performance once again. And it happens to already be, you know, two weeks into Xeno. And we are um, looking like a very even start at the moment here. And I do kind of like the slow place that uh, King Arc's been taking against Lucario. You really do not want to put Lucario in a situation where he get get to too high a percent and still be on the stage. Um, however, uh, King Arc has done an excellent job of forcing Vivi to disadvantage. And a nice pick up by Vivi there to get back into neutral. Ooh, and that move's pretty safe on block. I believe only minus two. So that move is very safe. Difficult for uh, Mega Man to deal with, being that Mega Man doesn't have a whole lot of great out of shield options. However, that's going to be taking the stock. Great job. And we've seen how earlier on he was kind of struggling to get that trump, but now he is getting it cleanly exactly when he needs to be because <laughs> you do not want to have Lucario surviving to those really high percents, which Mega Man can at times struggle to kill, you know? He has yeah. kill power, but in neutral, if his opponent messes up just a little bit, he's not always the kind of character that can be like, aha, you messed up a little bit, now you die for it. Yes. And Me Mega Man is one of those characters that, that's, that certainly can give Lucario a little bit of trouble because of the setups that, that this character has. Oh, <laughs> certainly a misinput there and a big punish coming out from King Arc with that um, up tilt. Oh, man. Oh, and we're the, the, the Aura Sphere is now making the spooky noise. <laughs> the, 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 the car engine revving up. Yes. And certainly, uh, Vivi needs to rev it up right now. Um, being, that, uh, being down a full stock against Mega Man is no short task to come back from. And that is going to be hitting two frame on ledge. So King Arc needs to get off uh, ledge incredibly snappy if he wants to be living uh, in this situation. But he's done an excellent job so far of getting as much uh, extra, extra credit out of the stock that he's been able to. However, that's going to be enough. Or so you're coming out. And we're going to be seeing uh, this is kind of that make or break moment against Lucario. Can you take the stock before he gets too much damage on you? Oh, well, the damage Ooh. begins right here. 37% in the blink of an eye. That back is not going to be enough to do it without any rage on King Arc himself. And Lucario is rather heavy, so Lucario does actually have the ability to live for a decent amount of time as well. Um, and once again, that Aura Sphere is still huge. The uh, jumps! He's just jumping right around these Aura Spheres, just threading the needle time and time again. There is, a, uh, Despite the fact that there's so much threat coming from Vivi, King Arc is not Ooh. scared in the least. Yeah, and Vivi, I think, a little bit overzealous, thinking that King Arc would run in there, uh, trying to catch it with the uh, B-Reverse Aura Sphere. And King Arc was very well aware of the approach that Vivi was going to go for, ends up going for an F-Smash, takes a stock, and that is a huge stock to take. Uh, only taking 90% from full Aura Lucario. I know it doesn't sound like it's a lot, but uh, not, no Aura Lucario really does have a whole lot of trouble killing. So we're going to be able to see probably uh, a decent amount of extra credit coming out from King Arc, unless maybe we pull something out that is rather impressive. Speaking of, <laughs> a read on the neutral get up, or yeah. on the get up attack. Yeah, with some hit, hurt box shifting, he's able to dodge the attack and punish with that meaty, powerful hitbox. Now VV has made this one stock a piece, and King Arc, this is... Uh, the thing is, now that this is one stock a piece, it's a last hit game. Oh yeah, Always. guaranteed. Always. Lucario is always last hit. Well, maybe not like five, but once he gets to like 15, ten, yeah, now. <laughs> now it's a last hit game. Um, because of the nature of Lucario, a simple read like what we saw at the beginning of last stock with no raids Lucario could very well do it uh, here. Looking to get to those pellets was Vivi. Ends up not getting enough room to do so. And the pressure by King Arc, so good. Metal Blade into grab on shield. But now that Aura Sphere is getting big, getting chunky. And I believe after a certain point, it starts transcending through. Oh, but the scoops hitting from below. Uh, Vivi not able to get past the back air. 
Uh, and we're going to be seeing um, King of up 1-0 with a chance to get into winner's finals against Vivi. And he really did play that matchup incredibly well. Um, oh, yes. Really did not let Vivi get to too high of a percent all, all times but one. Uh, the edge guarding was just very good. The ledge trapping mm -hmm. was very, very good. Mm -hmm. And the pressure, because Lucario is a character that kind of can't deal with pressure that well. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the greatest out of shield options. You know, the shield itself is all right, but yeah. you can see he gets shield poked. And so that was something that really King Arc aimed to abuse in the neutral. It's just, I'm going to like, you know, be putting metal blades on you, then grabbing you. Oh wait, no, I'm fading back now and throwing out pellets again. And it felt like VV was locked down in place, just taking continuous damage from that. And we're going to need to be seeing some adaptation from Vivi coming up in these next few games. Um, and we need to see if um, it's going to be, um, you know, uh, Vivi on this counter pick of, of uh, Town that is going to be enough to deal with this uh, Mega Man. I'm actually curious as to why the, the flat stage counter pick is what came out. I definitely understand the small blast zones being a huge help for Lucario in taking stocks, um, at least off the side. However... I Right now, the matchup is looking tough for, for Vivi. I understand the Blastons off the side being good for Lucario. On the other hand, back air. That yeah. Mega Man back air was just the, like, the pinnacle oh, speaking of, of the devil. King Ark's game plan. And, yeah, there it is. A completely, that was a zero to death. That was yeah. not some flashy, you know, two seconds zero to death. But, no, that was just 30 seconds of good outplaying in, you know, while Vivi was in disadvantage. And, and this is one of those situations that, um, Despite that we kind of think of Lucario as the comeback character, there are some comebacks for Lucario that are truly inordinately difficult for him to do. Um, and this is certainly one of them. Um, being down a stock with your opponent at such low percent, uh, while you are going to be getting aura very, very soon, um, and certainly already has quite a lot of it, um, this is still a tough situation, especially when King Arthur has been so good at the offstage game, maybe just narrowly getting past there. Oh, that was almost enough. Goodness gracious. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Vivi was absolutely expecting a fair. And King Ark was like, I'm going to click one pellet. And Vivi buffered an air dodge thinking that he would have to tech. The Such a good mix up, up from King Ark. That was so good. Now, this is because now Vivi is down two stocks. Uh, it's it, it, This character is unique in that... He is going to be having so much aura so quickly. Good. And oh, remember how in the, when the, uh, when uh, King Ark oh was, gosh oh, man. when King Ark was playing against Odyssey, though, he was getting trapped by that forward smash. That's his it landings. already. Wow! That's it. Oh my god, a three stock. I that didn't was have like, time uh, to finish that my was like, well, That was. I was going to compliment on the fact that he's landing two beautifully minutes. now, but no. That was like two minutes. That's the exact opposite of what we saw versus um, John Number and Sinji. Yeah, that was a two minute game. Um, and really, uh, I must say. Uh, Truly a dominant performance that last game, and we saw how well he was, even in game number one, which is obviously much closer, we saw how well he was able to take those uh, stocks off early. Certainly it looks like it's a really tough time for Lucario to get back to stage in this matchup. I don't those think that counter pick was stage was the right play. I, 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 I think agree, that those side blast zones, it could be good for Lucario, but he was dying at 100 from a bad And like air. dealing with the, the zoning that uh, Mega Man has on a flat stage like that is certainly something that can be tough for Lucario. I